Hello learners and uh, welcome back to my channel let's learn together on killing a tree now this is the topic and this is the poem that we are going to discuss today in this video and this belongs to class 9th textbook beehive I'll show the textbook to you okay this is going to be the source of my reference I'll be going to um, you know discuss the important points and the poem from the textbook itself now uh, see when you look at the title itself of the poem on killing a tree then obviously one thing that strikes your mind because since we have actually trained ourselves in in a certain context so the one thing that strikes you immediately is that of course it is going to be about cutting down of trees now when we think about cutting down of tree then obviously the one thing that once again appears into our mind is the deforestation now you know we would have read about deforestation in as the smaller classes in the subjects like social science and sciences where we have seen their deforestation as something which is extremely hazardous because if the more number of trees would be cut down then there would be less oxygen and then there would be more of carbon dioxide in the environment and then of course the heating up of the environment will happen and then the, the melting of the polar ice and you know the rest of the story so uh, this is normally the concept that we have learned and it is scientifically correct also but we had always been looking at deforestation from the perspective or from the point of view of how it is going to affect the human race right so for us saving of a tree is important because we want to save our own existence but the same issue of cutting down of a tree has been handled or has been taken into from a very different point of view in this particular poem now when you look at this poem which is written by chief patel you know he looks at what happens to a tree when it has been cut down or when it has been killed? I would like you to focus on the title of the poem on killing a tree. Now you must understand the words in the title and of course throughout the poem has been very com consciously uh, you know, chosen. Where killing is the word which has been deliberately added because killing is something that, you, that, that takes you closer to, to, a, to an action of something like committing a murder because the intention is just to completely finish a life is to completely you know uh, make a person or anything or any other living being completely dead now on killing a tree is also about that when a, a process of cutting down a tree happens so whatever is the uh, the reason could be maybe most of the time we need woods we need woods to you know convert them into beautiful doors or into beautiful furniture or the things of our use but then the act is not as innocent as you generally rationalize it to be. We generally feel, you know, because we kind of rationalize this whole factor of cutting down of the trees by saying that we need it and it is important for us to because we are civilized beings and we have this right to actually, you know, uh, use them as resources. So we find them, we, we, we look at them as natural resources which are as if they're uh, uh, which uh, probably which are there uh, in order to complete and in order to fulfill the needs of the human being now this whole um, supposed supremacy of human being is something that has been questioned in this poem because Jeev Patel or the narrator in the poem I mean the speaker in the poem basically questions the supremacy of the existence of human being on this planet and it, it wants you to you know the narrator wants you to understand and think about it that are we the only soul masters of this planet uh, is it that uh, other living beings or other living species also have the same kind of right on this planet right so when you look at the poem it talks to you about the emotion concept about the emotion consequences of killing a tree it's about how a tree must be feeling when you kill a tree and how uh, you know it how deeply does it want to to survive actually how deeply does it uh, place an effort place an effort to kind of conserve its life and and to continue to live okay let us look at the poem so i'll be uh, moving through the poem stanza wise you are requested to follow it in your books it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous height, sprouting leaves. Okay, so this is the first stanza. Now, when you look at the first stanza, the speaker right away moves on to the topic. 
and it talks about that if you want to kill a tree then it is not going to be an easy process because it is not just cutting of a tree down once again you need to understand it's not just it is not just as simple as you know breaking anything into two parts no it is actually very consciously and very thinkingly okay very thinkingly because it cannot be an action of thoughtlessness very thinkingly somebody is deciding to finish up a life somebody is deciding to bestow death upon a living thing okay so he says that it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it is not as simple as sometimes you know killing another person with jab of knife maybe maybe killing a human being is more use more uh, comparatively easier than killing a particular tree why it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water right so it has grown for a very long period of time and it has fed itself upon variety of things which are important to inculcate life into any living species for instance air water sunlight years and years of all these things has been actually consumed by the tree and only then it has come into its complete bloom or into its complete form so since so many years have been taken up by a tree to grow up as a tree and now it looks like what it is which is the result of a many years of process actually since so many years have been invested in its growth uh, a simple jab of knife will not completely cut down or kill the tree and out of the leprous height is sprouting leaves so you know because of all this process that you have just been explained in the stanza uh, then it comes out of its discolored bark bark is nothing but the outer skin of the trunk of the uh, tree so from there the leaves have sprouted out so you can imagine about you know that how the process of growing up of a tree is is somewhat sim similar to the to the growth of any other living species it could be a human being it could be any other living species similarly a young one of any other living species which you know take years and years for the growth it will also feed itself upon various kind of nutrition it could be sunlight it could be water it could be many uh, various other kind of nutrition only then slowly and steadily that living being grows itself into its complete form similarly the tree has also taken a lot of time to grow itself to its complete form do you think it's going to get killed by just one chap of knife no it will not happen right so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form more size right now in this second stanza we look at uh, the the incessant desire within a tree to grow up to its original form even after being uh, you know hacked and being chopped right so look at the the innermost desire of any living being to live right so what is natural natural is living and natural is not killing right so the unnaturality of the whole act of killing is something that has been suggested to you time and again so what is natural something which is in accordance with the rules of the universe is to grow as life and is to be able to experience life in its fullest sense and killing down any living species here in this case a tree is something which is against the rule of the universe which is something an unnatural act now obviously it will it will have less uh, bearing it will have less magnitude than the whole idea of growing up or the whole desire of growing up so here he, now he is it is giving examples that okay since one jab of knife knife is not going to kill the tree therefore obviously the human being will uh, uh, you know pick up another methods of killing it what will they do they will hack it and they will uh, chop it now hacking if you look at the glossary here uh, the meaning is being given cut roughly by striking heavy blows right striking heavy blows so with, with with the help of some equipment maybe the human beings will try to you know hack it chop it roughly uh, so that the life could be somehow um, 
you know it could be suppressed totally but not so much pain will do it of course whatever the hacking and chopping and jabbing you are doing to the tree it is giving him pain the tree is getting pain of but it is not created in a way where you know it is it will express its pain to you it doesn't have any uh, visible way or any comprehensible way uh, of expressing its pain uh, or any way of expressing its pain which could be you know comprehensible by human intellectuality actually it is it is the limitation of human actu- uh, intellectuality where the humans are quite incapable of understanding the pain of of living beings like trees yeah, yes so they they completely incapable of doing it now uh, that but then you must understand that of course you are inflicting pain upon it by constantly chopping it hacking it but then even after tolerating so much of pain it is not going to give away it will not give up so easily the bleeding bark will heal and close to the ground will rise curled leaf a curled green twigs twigs are little uh, small leaves that you know come out of the places where the cut has been uh, rendered to the tree so it's saying that even after you give it so much of pain it will again have the desire to come up and from that bleeding bark the place from where, where you know the cuts would have been given to the tree from there itself look at the way of defying the way tree is actually trying to defy the act of human beings of killing it just from the, those cuts actually the new green twigs are going to come up which will now change into new branches and stems and leaves and then the flowers maybe so this is look at the defiance of the tree to live and to continue its life which is of course very much in accordance with the rule of nature or with the nature's law right miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to the former size okay now you can understand it from the example of having little garden in your home if you have a little garden in your home then you know that how much you know effort and constant effort you have to keep up just in order to ensure that there are no weeds in your garden because they will always come up and you don't really have to put up any seeds you don't really have to do anything to uh, you know ensure the life of those weeds so but they just come up with the very basic of uh, requirement some soil some water from under uh, underneath and of course the sunlight which is freely available to each and every being on this planet so similarly if you don't check the growth of those little plants or, or those little plantlets which are coming out of the cut of the tree then obviously it will take form of the former uh, size it will become the original in size and it will become a tree again okay so in the first two stanza you look at first stanza will tell you about the process of growth of the tree in the second stanza it talk, talks to you about the desire to grow and to continue its life right now look at the la- uh, next uh, stanza which is the third stanza no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out tapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source wild and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth now it is telling you that you need to go one step further if you want to really kill a tree now the killing of the tree is not just coming going to happen with just you know kill, uh, cutting down of the branches or of the stem or maybe the cutting down of the trunk no it is it is it's still going to stay in its that form if if you leave it unchecked because the root is still there now root is the essence of uh, the existence of the tree so it is telling you you know look at the words the sentences it has uh, you know the, the the speaker is speaking to you or the writer has written here the root is to be pulled out look at the whole inhuman way of actually causing death to the tree the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out okay so once again it it cannot be an action which is done in the in a in a state of thoughtlessness no it has to it is a very well consciously designed action where you have to you know pull down pull out the tree uh, this rope and if it is not possible then you have to rope it around like you have to tie it with a rope and then you have to pull it out which means that you have to put in a lot of strength actually 
put in a lot of strength to ensure that that the tree is dead okay and pull out snapped out or pull out entirely completely you have to ensure that each and every bit of the root is out of the earth otherwise it will it will get into the life once again out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed when you completely take out the uh, completely take out the uh, this root at that time you understand that how strong the tree has been because that is the real strength of the tree which kept it anchored to the earth uh, very tightly very strongly and it also allowed a lot of nutrition to the tree right now the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth okay so what was the source of its life it was the root and how was it 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 was it was white it was wet and it was wet because of the water and it was wet because it it now shows the uh, life in it life so it was the most sensitive part because that was the part from where the the tree was driving you know it was it, it was actually deriving its its strength and will to live now it was kept inside the earth it was kept hidden inside the earth for a long period of time last stanza then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done right now even now taking out of the root is not complete because if you have taken out the root yes you have killed it now but then it is it's still of not your purpose it will not serve your purpose until you actually convert it into the workable wood and how do you do it look at the last stanza by scorching it okay scorching it means, means that you you keep it under high temperatures under the sunlight for a long period of time because then it will lead to the drying up of the tree of the wood and uh, it, it will ensure the loss of any kind of moisture because as uh, long as moisture is going to stay locked inside it there is a there is a very strong uh, possibility of life coming out of it so it needs to be completely dried up scorched then choking choking is once again a kind of stabbing that needs to be done choking is to ensure that you know it does not uh, uh, get back uh, to it uh, original uh, form right choking is uh, it is a process of actually killing a person by disalloying uh, the air into the mouth for example if you if if a human being needs to be killed then choking is a good process because then the complete throat is held out tightly in order to ensure that there is no availability of the breath that happens and in the lack of breath with the lack of breath that the human being may die within few minutes so something of the same kind needs to be one done with the wood and how is it being done it is being done by putting that particular wood into the uh into the sunlight with a high temperature for a long number of hours because then that will dry up all the left out moisture from it and hence the possibility of coming out of the life from there again is going to completely snapped out in sun and air then there are other process to which the tree or the wood needs to be subjected to and that is browning hardening twisting and withering so all this process needs to be done and only then it is being done now you have killed the tree completely and you can put yourself uh, put this to your own use now if you look at the poem it is different from the other way a particular you know uh, concept of deforestation has been taken up because as i told you when we look at the process of deforestation and we try to understand the process of deforestation generally we look at deforestation from the point of view of how it is going to affect the essence of human existence right so there there is this presumed uh, assumption that we we means human race is is supposedly the most strongest and the most uh, rightful owner of this particular planet we often forget that it is not just that our existence is something that is going to be the question the existence of that living species is as much important as the existence of any other person or any other i mean living species on the earth so we are not the sole masters of this planet we are not we are just uh, one of the sharers of uh, of the land on this planet we are like any other human being so the life of a ant is as important as the life of a human being although we do not give them that importance 
similarly the life of a tree is as important as uh, probably sometimes to a certain extent a few degrees more important than human beings because if they're not there obviously we will not be able to survive right so we need to stop looking at the whole process of deforestation or any other process as only from the point of view of its support to the human existence but we need to understand that the sin and the, and, the, and uh, you know the acts that of pain uh, or the act of inflicting uh, limitless pain upon other species so uh, these are the things that needs to be questioned basically so let us very quickly revise it well the main theme of the poem is to understand the pain that is being inflicted on a tree while killing it okay next important thing is that it questions the supposed supremacy of human being on this planet and tries to convey a message that every living species is as important as that of the human race on this planet we are not the sole masters of this planet and we must learn to share space with our co-livers okay or our the, um, um, the, uh, with the other living species next is that if you look at the poem stanza five the whole poem is about the process or the act of killing it which is very deliberately been equated with that of a murder and in fact has been given more um, magnitude than uh, that of a murder that would be committed to any human being because you could kill a human being with just one single jab of a knife but in a case of uh, in a case of a uh, tree that is not possible an unlimited amount of force and unlimited amount of effort needs to be played up uh, next important concern is uh, going to be uh, the desire of the tree to live which is remarkable because it, it is it continues to live unless uh, the tree is uh, unless the root of the tree is completed taken out of the uh, of the earth and uh, you know it is being subjected to various kind of process of hardening browning scorching choking and then it is being considered good enough to be utilized or good enough to be used by human beings so these were the important concerns i hope you um, enjoy the poem while you read it if you have any problem you can uh, ask me in the comment sections below and you can also suggest uh, uh, some of the methods through which i can improve the content of my uh, videos i hope this is going to be uh, beneficial for you and looking forward for your uh, uh, responses thank you so much and have a very very wonderful life and a year ahead thank you